Hi everyone, welcome back to my final video for the CSSE Essex 11 Plus videos. My name is Katie and I will be talking you through how to pass the maths part of your 11 Plus assessment. Now, you might be familiar that I've already got two CSSE videos already out. And if you've not checked those out, make sure you do after watching this video because the first one will give you indication to all the key information about the whole exam and what to expect using key dates and guidance for parents etc and the second video is similar to this one but it focuses entirely on the English section of the 11 plus so be sure to check out those videos because they will really help you get an overall understanding of your exam okay so about the maths paper for the CSSE Essex 11 Plus, there is an English paper and a maths paper. For this video, I'm going to show you sample questions for the maths paper only. This will hopefully give you some indication as to what to expect from the maths questions. So information about the maths paper. So within the booklet, you'll be provided with mental arithmetic questions as well as reasoning questions. You may work out the questions in your head or show your workings out on the paper pro provided. Generally, the more marks the question is worth, that means that the examiner wants to see how you are going about working out the question. So I would advise that you show your working out where you can because you could get awarded extra marks for that question, okay? Any alterations you, sh you make should be made really clear. You'll be given 60 minutes to complete this test. Calculators are not permitted in this exam. For 2018 entry, the CSSE Essex 11 Plus assessment will be sat on the 23rd of September 2017. For more key dates and inf important information about the CSSE Essex 11 Plus, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the 11 plus playlist for more of my videos. Some questions will appear as simple mental arithmetic questions. It helps to write down your working out in order to see your thought process. So question 1. Calculate 874 plus 3687. Question 2. Work out the difference between 9.67 and 4.27. Question 3, what is 16 divided by 0.4? Question 4, look carefully for the pattern and then choose which pair of numbers comes next. So you've got 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. So which two numbers come next in the sequence? Question 5, two of the numbers from box A to bo have moved from box A to box B, sorry. The total of the numbers in box B is now four times the total of the numbers in box A. Which two numbers from box A have moved into box B? Question 6, a cinema has 27 rows of seats with 28 seats in each row. Tickets are £8 each. How much money would the cinema make if all the seats were sold? What is the coordinate for point X? So there we have it. We've got seven practice questions for you just to give you an idea of the types of questions in your exam. What I would like you to do is write your answers down in the comments box below this video and I will mark them for you and get back to you as soon as I can with how well I think you are doing. Okay, so that is... That is it for this video on the maths part of the Essex 11 Plus. Hopefully I've given you some idea of the types of questions involved, some key dates and just general information about the maths part of the um, 11 Plus exam. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has really helped you with, um, with more information about your 11 Plus exam. Be sure to check out my website howtobecome.com for more educational resources and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it is free and you will be kept updated with more of my upcoming educational videos. If you do have any comments or queries be sure to leave me a message below this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 
And I wish you all the very best of luck with your Essex 11 plus examination.